Hi everyone, this is Alaya Games, and today I'm watching episode 10 of Zoids. Seems this episode doesn't have a uh, an opening, so that's a little weird. Uh, this one's called Assault of the War Sharks, so... I assume the sharks are going to be like some sort of like burrowing zoid or something, because there has been like absolutely zero bodies of water in this entire series so far. If I recall correctly, it's mostly purely desert and cities in the desert. Um, maybe we saw a little bit of a forest. I think I remember them hiding in the trees one time with the what's her name? The sniper lady, uh, I think. But for the most part, it's like a desert landscape. And I don't know if it's because they're only in this specific part of the entire planet, or if the entire planet is mostly one biome, which would be weird. I would like to see other parts of this planet. Uh, though, you know, it's a different planet, I'm, I'm sure. I, I haven't really had any um, reason to believe that it's on Earth, except for the, you know, flora sometimes, like cacti. Uh, but that could just be because, like, terraforming at some point. Um, but where was I going with this? <laughs> uh, shoot, I really went off track here. Uh, well, whatever. I, I guess it'd be really weird if the entire planet was one biome. Uh, So, I hope to see more in the future. And I don't know if it's only because they've been in the same location this entire time. Because they have gone back to their, like, HQ regularly. Like, it, they always go back. So, I assume that none of these battles have taken place very far. Which also calls into question why the heck uh, Bit didn't know about the battles. Or at least these people. Because apparently he was, like a regular, you know, scavenger around these parts, and I feel like he would have known, like, one of the teams that live near here. I also don't know, like, what the point of sending in the, the bot from space is if... They're always doing it in a similar area. Unless it's like just a worldwide thing and there's like satellites all over the planet just sending out these uh, referees <laughs> for every single little battle. But in which case, why not just have those robots like in the city and then launch them from like a an ICBM or something? Because they still have to go all the way up back to space and that's much more expensive than just like launching them and then having them go back on their own. I don't know. It's interesting to think about, I guess, to question these mechanics that might not make sense. Of course, I mean, if it's explained and if there's good reasons for it, I'm happy to accept those reasonings. Uh, but yeah, Salt of the War Sharks. Maybe it'll be on water. Probably it'll be tunneling so yeah let's let's start this i'm still very kind of like a little bit skeptical as to why they don't value bit more he's the reason they're winning all of these then again i could maybe understand because lena seems to be extremely self-centered and I don't think she cares much about other people. And then it's the same with Brad because he only cares about money. But in that, I don't know. He Maybe if he cared about money to that extent, he'd also care about like basically the, the golden goose that is bit. It would have been better if you didn't announce yourself. 
It reminds me of that time in Avatar where Sokka's like, Snake attack! Seems they only won this one coincidentally. But yeah, Lena's just awful so far. I think her dad has autism. <laughs> This seems like a fantasy land. Is a snake version of the um the Cave of Wonders from Aladdin? He did not. Ah, yep, burrowing. I knew it. New female character or old one? Oh, I, I think she's new, yeah. You seem pretty okay with it, though. So it seems another mysterious organization has uh, come out to play. They're making so many enemies. <laughs> you gotta wonder, do other top teams also have to deal with these many rivals? I mean, you'd assume yes, like people in battles. But they're calling attention to themselves in like the worst way possible. Not just in terms of the game, but like <laughs> making actual real life enemies. Also, it seems having these Sharkzoids makes it so you have a, a stealth system on yourself as well, somehow. Yeah, you're lying, Lena. No, she definitely would. It's, she was locked on him. He, I, I mean, I feel like he's the youngest of all of them, but at the same time, he's kind of like the actual mom of the, of the team. It's kind of funny. He gives off Brock vibes. You'd feel, you'd feel like with the almost infinite amount of energy they have, they could afford heating. Hugging the hologram, huh?
that's what he's saying, but I, I have a feeling hidden behind those windows is actually porn. Well, I mean, the secret is bit. Has no one figured that out yet? Yeah, I mean, that's obvious. No, yes. Definitely, he's the one that wins everything. Like, I understand how you can how we can think that for this for this specific battle because they won because of luck, but usually it's because Bit decides to do something. You didn't have to say anything. We assume that's your reasoning. Unless that one specific time that you acted out of character and got a, a love interest for no reason. He has an existential crisis at this point, doesn't he? Oh, he's actually serious. I thought he was being sarcastic. So do, do these only work on sand or can they go on solid ground too? Because if so, you would never want to surface and just like skim the surface because that would just leave a trail. It wouldn't disappear like it did there. I don't know if it's just me, but it took me way too long to realize, well, it just took me until now to realize that the Zoid carrier that they have is shaped like a snail. Like, why did it take me that long? <laughs>
Oh, one of these again. Why do you need a judge if you're gonna like be evil? Wouldn't you just like kill them? So it's turning solid ground into sand, I think. Did they not hear him? Okay, so there is rules for that. Wow, my daughter almost died. <laughs> you know, I really wish that the character that left in the beginning was the character that had stayed and uh, Brad was the one that had left. Because I like that guy. I don't like Brad. I mean, at first I thought that Brad was going to come around a bit and just, like, get along with him at some point. I thought that of Lena, too, but <laughs> they have zero chemistry so far, which is a little disappointing. How long have they been working together at this point? Shouldn't they already have, like, you know, roles amongst themselves, really like interpersonal relationships. At most I see just like Lena and everyone butting heads. There's like I don't know, I feel like there's like zero camaraderie in their group. So I wonder, is there any reason why the Liger is so rare, if it's considered so good? I mean, I understand the first episode they mentioned that it was, like, temperamental and difficult to use, but you'd think there'd be more of them, or at least the people who can use them would be highly regarded. finish off doesn't seem particularly bad off yet
Wow. <laughs> this is quite the strategy, guys. Oh, I thought I was going to use the teeth, but no, it makes more sense just to use the guns, I guess. All right, so I think I'm going to skip this. There we go. Oh, I just, <laughs> I noticed when uh, it actually cut to the current time instead of using the, the clip, because I thought that for the most part, the clip where the transformation is done intentionally keeps the landscape obscured by, you know, the position of the camera, but they actually do for some reason include the part where it comes out and uh, starts running on land, which means the landscape was different in one shot to the next. And that's like a second of footage. Might as well left that out and just do it normally. Those claws are pretty powerful. Can you uh, coerce this thing? <laughs> Pointing the, the gun at it, is it that easy? Again, it's weird how honest that robot is. Okay. I guess it's more special than I thought. Is she, uh, yeah, she's in a bathrobe. She, uh, she should probably change out of that before an accident happens. <laughs> Alright, so this episode was a bit weird, because... Since the very start, it's been very, very clear that the reason they started winning is because Bit joined, and that Liger is a very, very good Zoid. Uh, I think trying to shoehorn an alternate reason for how their interactions contribute to their overall win, I don't know whether that's... A th like... I'm not satisfied with that explanation because it makes a lot less sense than him being good. It also kind of bleeds into my other complaint where they don't value him as a team member nearly enough as they should. Oh, no, it just bothers me. He's usually the one that gets the last shot, the last hit, the winning hit. And he's probably the most valuable player in terms of, like, personal points that they mentioned. Not that I know what the scoring system is like. But I feel like if there was a scoring, I mean, there definitely is a scoring system, but like, I have a feeling if 
the scoring system is anywhere near functional. Someone who does as much as him would have the most amount of points. At first, to me, it seemed like Brad would warm up to to bit, which I mentioned before. Um, because it seemed he was dissatisfied. He, he didn't trust that bit would be enough to keep them winning, I guess. That he wasn't good at what he did. That maybe it was a fluke or something. But after these many, you would think that he'd be like, yeah, bit's the reason. Uh, but it, he went from dissatisfied to nonchalant about their winnings. He doesn't seem to care the reason they're winning. Uh, or even attribute it to bit at all. Which is disappointing in terms of character development. I thought he would grow over time. Um, with Lena, it kind of makes sense because she's, again, like I mentioned earlier, incredibly self-centered to the point where she legitimately, <laughs> she legitimately believes that she's one of the reasons that they win, I, I feel. Which, I mean, I guess she is, but, like, she's not the biggest. Definitely not. I feel like, <laughs> for the most part, Brad and Lena are mostly distractions for the for most of the, the enemy team, while Bit wins. But, yeah, th so far, those are my biggest complaints. I don't like Brad, and I feel... All of them should value him more, just based on his merits. But yeah, that's all I have to say about this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.